Have you ever wondered about the end times? What happens in the final days? As we stand on the brink of the unknown, questions about the end times and the role of the church are more pertinent than ever. Let's unravel the mysteries of the end times together. The early signs of the end times are subtle yet profound. Our world is in constant flux and it's only natural to seek signs of what's to come. In the context of end times, these signs are often subtle yet profound and they can be seen in various aspects of our society and environment. One such sign is moral decay. We see this in the erosion of values that were once cherished, held as the bedrock of our societies. Respect for human life, integrity, humility, and the pursuit of truth are replaced with a culture of self-interest, deceit, and disregard for the sanctity of life. This decay isn't sudden, but a slow, creeping change that often goes unnoticed until it's too late. Then, we have natural disasters. Earthquakes, floods, wildfires, and hurricanes are becoming more frequent and more severe. While it's easy to attribute these to climate change, some believe these are nature's warnings, precursors to the end times. Unpredictable and devastating, these disasters remind us of our vulnerability and the precarious balance of our world. Finally, there's the spread of false teachings. In an age of information overload, discerning truth from falsehood has become increasingly challenging. There are those who manipulate religious teachings for personal gain, leading many astray. This distortion of truth is a sign of the end times, as prophesied in ancient scriptures. But there's a silver lining to these signs. They serve as a wake-up call, prompting us to reflect, reassess, and realign our lives. They remind us of the need for unity, for standing together in the face of adversity, and for holding steadfast to our beliefs. These signs are just the beginning, setting the stage for what's to come. As we navigate through these challenging times, it's crucial to remember that while signs can guide us, it's our actions that truly shape our destiny. The end times may seem daunting, but with perseverance, unity, and a clear mission, we can face whatever comes our way. In these tumultuous times, the church stands as a beacon of hope. Its role in these end times is crucial as it seeks to navigate the turbulent waters of crisis, spreading the message of salvation and unity among believers. Let's think about the church as a lighthouse in a storm. It doesn't just passively stand there, but actively sends out a signal of safety, a message that there's a safe haven in the midst of the storm. In the same way, the church is not just a physical building or a gathering of people. It's a spiritual entity with a divine mission, a mission to spread the message of salvation to all corners of the earth. This mission becomes even more critical in the end times. As the world plunges into uncertainty, the church is tasked with the responsibility of reminding everyone of the eternal hope that is found in Christ. It's a beacon of hope, illuminating the path to salvation, encouraging believers to hold on to their faith, even when the world around them is shaking. But the church's role isn't limited to spreading the message of salvation. It also strives to foster unity among believers. This unity is not just about agreeing on doctrines or attending the same services. It's about standing together in the face of adversity, supporting one another and lifting each other up in prayer. It's about being one body with Christ at the head, working together to fulfill the mission that has been entrusted to us. This unity is more critical than ever in these end times. As the world becomes more divided, the church must stand united. It must be a model of love and unity, showing the world what it truly means to be one in Christ. In these tumultuous times, the church has a pivotal role to play. It's not just a bystander watching the world crumble. It's an active participant, holding out the message of hope, spreading the good news of salvation and fostering unity among believers. The church is not just a bystander in these events, but an active participant. As the end times progress, the events become more intense and dramatic. Imagine a world where chaos and confusion reign. This is when the Antichrist, a figure of deception, will rise to power. Many will be led astray by his persuasive words and promises of peace. He will create a false sense of security, only to break it in the most devastating way possible. But fear not, for this is a part of the grand narrative, a necessary chapter in the story of the end times. 
Following the rise of the Antichrist, the Great Tribulation will begin. This period will be marked by unprecedented suffering and turmoil. It's a time of trial and testing, a crucible that will refine the faithful and expose the false. Some will falter under the weight of hardship, but those who stand firm in their faith will emerge stronger, their resolve unbroken. In the midst of this chaos, there will be a beacon of hope, the second coming of Christ. This event will be like nothing we've ever seen or imagined. It will be a moment of divine intervention, a time when heaven meets earth. Christ will return in all his glory, bringing an end to the reign of the Antichrist and delivering his faithful from the tribulations. He'll establish his kingdom, a kingdom of peace, love and righteousness, where sorrow and suffering are no more. The end times are not just about destruction and despair, they are also about restoration and renewal. They serve as a reminder that even in the darkest hours, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Hope remains, even when it seems all hope is lost. The final events of the end times are a testament to the enduring power of faith and the triumph of good over evil. They are a call to unity, perseverance and mission, a call to be steadfast in our faith and unwavering in our commitment to the cause of Christ. The end times culminate in a final showdown between good and evil with a promise of new beginnings. In this journey through the end times, we've seen the signs, the role of the church, and the final events. We've delved into the early indicators, those prophetic signals that act as a beacon, illuminating the path towards what many believe to be the final chapter of our earthly story. It's crucial to remember the significance of the church during these times. It stands as a beacon of hope and unity, a place of solace amidst the tempest. The church, with its enduring faith and commitment to serving its followers, plays a pivotal role in navigating this period of uncertainty. Its mission is not just to guide, but to inspire perseverance, fostering a spirit of resilience and unity among believers. The final events we discussed are not to incite fear, but to prepare us for the journey ahead. They are a call to action, a reminder of the Church's mission to stand united and resilient in the face of adversity. It's not about weathering the storm alone, but standing together, bound by faith and guided by the Church's unwavering mission. Our journey through the end times is not just a tale of impending doom, but a narrative of hope and redemption. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of humanity and the unyielding faith of the Church. While the end times may be fraught with challenges and tribulations, they also herald a new era of peace and redemption. Until then, the Church stands firm, guiding its followers through the storm.